of you don't understand why you must sing a song like that and appreciate God and sing the song heartily, joyfully. 2020 came and wiped out hundreds of thousands of people. And we thought 2021 would be a better year. But then, innumerable number of people also perished in 2021. But here am I. Here are we. What shall we say unto the Lord? before you. Eternal God will bless and worship you. Ancient of days will glorify and magnify you. You are the Lord our God. You are the hope of our life. You are the strength of our life. You are the peace of our life. You are the joy of our life. Oh Lord God, if not for you, we should have been forgotten. Oh, most high God, if not for you, the enemy would have said, aha, so we want you to be. We thank you, Father, for our uprising. We thank you for our down sitting. We thank you for our outgoing. We thank you for our incoming in. We thank you for where we live. We thank you for what we eat. We thank you for what we do. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your work. We thank you for the strength of the Lord. We thank you for the grace of God. We thank you for the goodness of God. We thank you for the presence of the Lord. We thank you for the guidance of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Father, we just want to say, be thou exalted forever in Jesus' name. It's not by our by our mind. It's not by our wisdom. It's not by the so much of precaution we are taking. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. I want to say thank you, Father. Be thou exalted forever in Jesus' name. We knew the beginning of the year. We are knowing the end of it. We are knowing the end of it. Just today alone, thousands of people have died all over the world. But we are still here. Oh Lord, be thou exalted forever in Jesus' name. We bring our appreciation. We bring our thanksgiving. We bring our worship. We bring you the honor in Jesus' name. Lord, as we have come to celebrate the end of the year with you, and to receive from you the instruction, the direction, and the promises from you for the coming year. Father, bless us in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, oh God, we pray that you will speak to us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I congratulate all the victors in the house. I rejoice with all the victors in the house. You are victorious. Death has no power over you. Sickness has no power over you. Coronavirus has no power over you. You made it. You made it. And you will make it to the end. In Jesus' name, 
you may have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Within the next few hours, as a matter of fact, in about an hour plus, less than two hours, we will be congratulating somebody. Happy New Year. Who is that individual? Who is that individual? We will rejoice with you. We will celebrate with you. But before then, the Lord has a word for you. Because a lot has happened over the years. Over the years. Over the years, many things have happened. The year 2020 and 2021 have dazzled the world. Pandemic has created an enormous uncertainties in all the nations of the world. There has been fear within and fear without. But the Lord has something in mind for you. The Lord wants me to tell you that no matter what may be happening around you, you will come out on hot. In the name of Jesus. For quite some days, as I was waiting on the Lord and said, Lord, what will you have for me, for your people? The Lord kept bringing it to my mind the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 61. But then I was so busy with many other things that I didn't have time to get there. But I couldn't go prepare another thing, Isaiah 61. And so finally today, the final day of the year, I got to sit down to see what is the Lord saying from this book of Isaiah. Come with me to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 61, verse 7. 61, verse 7. For your shame, which I have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. I read through the book, and then as soon as I go to verse 7, then I knew within my spirit, this is what the Lord is saying. And so tonight I'm talking about double portion for bounty harvest. Double portion for bounty harvest. The Lord is saying, irrespective of what is happening in the world, in the midst of affliction, you'll be blessed. In the midst of the pestilence and the plagues, you will be blessed. In the name of Jesus, what the Lord is saying that you are going to begin to have hope against hope. I need a better one. And the Lord is saying that somebody here is going to be anointed for double portion. Did you just get that? Anointed for double portion. Come back to that book of Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has done what? Has done what? You are anointed. I say you are anointed. I say you are anointed to do exploit for the Lord. To succeed in life. To prosper in life. To progress in life. To triumph in life. To live and not to die. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has anointed me to preach the good things. The good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God. Remember, the day of vengeance of our God, the ungodly shall be dead to it this coming year. To comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for arches. Beauty for arches. Beauty for arches. Begin to take stock of all the arches in your life. The sorrowful stuff in your life. The disappointments in your life. The displeasures in your life. The Lord is going to turn them all to beauty in Jesus' name. 
the oil of joy for money. In the year 2022, you will not mourn. In the name of Jesus, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Somebody is not catching it. That they might be called the tree of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, and that he might be glorified. In your life, you'll be glorified. In my life, God will be glorified. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities. The desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flock. And the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dresser. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Hallelujah. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in their glory shall ye boast yourself for your shame. Ye shall have double. And for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Praise the Lord. You say, but how shall this be? I am telling you, the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Abraham was a man that God spoke unto. Come out of your land, come out of your kindred, come out of your nation, come out of your people, unto a land, a place that I'm going to send you. And in blessing, I will bless you. But then when you look at Abraham, Abraham was barren. The wife was barren. Hope was lost because he was of age. Biologically, medically, scientifically, there was no hope for Sarah. There was no hope for Abraham. God has spoken. His word will not fall to the ground unfulfilled. So, all that Abraham needed to do is to look beyond the deadness of his body. Look beyond the deadness of the body of Sarah. Look beyond what science may be saying. Look what the body may be saying. And then, look up unto God. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence come, and we fail and disappoint, but Jesus never failed. And so, Abraham was wise, and I hope somebody here will be wise. That no matter what you are seeing around you, he will never fail me. Romans chapter 4 verse 18. Who against hope believed in hope. Talking about this is a secret of harvest in the year 2022. This is the secret of your double portion. Hoping against hope. Who against in hope that he might become the fathers of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. I need an amen there. And be not weak in faith. Weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promises of God. True unbelief, but was strong in faith. The wind may be blowing, strong in faith. The storm may be raging, strong in faith. They said the pandemic is on the uprise. You are strong in the faith. I'm being fully persuaded. I like that word that what he has promised somebody finish for me he was able also to perform that is what the lord is doing for us in jesus name he says in the book of isaiah behold i will do a new thing and now 
fault. Shall ye not know it? What follow? Ah, this is God speaking. Ah, we. When you hear the word evil is addition, confirmation. I will do this in addition. Do not do this other one. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The Lord is saying that every blockage before you this coming year will be cleared up in Jesus' name. That is a promise of the Lord. Remember, double portion of bounty harvest. Plenty harvest. You say, oh, this is much. And he says, it's not enough. Double of the much is coming your life in Jesus' name. And when the Lord says, I will do a new thing, he's saying a new a new deliverance is coming. Look up, look up, look up, look up at me. The Lord already has prepared the ground for you to believe. Except, except you're a doubting Thomas. This crusade that just ended. Hallelujah. I realized something happened. That looking at the Bible from Genesis 2 to Revelation, you heard of the case of the dead coming back to life. Am I right? But then when you look at the people, it's like this apostle is only one dead in all of his lifetime. And we have it recorded. And we read it again and again and again. Never have I read it anywhere that within one week in the Bible it happened this time around. Amen? That is the fulfillment of the scripture. Because Jesus said the work I did you will do. Pay attention. And then he went further to say, and greater works than these shall you do. Who is he talking to there? He's talking to me. So don't be amazed. Don't be surprised at what is happening. It is the fulfillment of the scripture. And the Lord is saying, this year coming 2022, double portion. I said double portion. Anointing for you. Listen, this coming year, every member of the church, because of what the Lord begins to do, they will say, this is a minister of the Lord. A worker in the church, the minister in the church, people that have not reckoned with you, they begin to look for you and say, we are looking for the minister here. Because, remember, remember, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed I thought the Bible was talking about just the overseer alone. You know. Who is the anointed of the Lord here? I said, who is the anointed of the Lord? Look away from your sex, whether you are a man or a woman. Look away from your age, whether you are old or young. Look away from your color, whether you are black or brown, white or yellow. Just look up unto the Lord. What he has said, in the name of Jesus. So, if you have lost anything, they took this away from me. No, it's not so much of you. It's so much of what you are doing with, with what you have left. If you know that woman in the book of Kings, she said, I have what? Nothing. Listen, you have something. I say you have something. For as long as you are alive and you are still in Christ, you have something. You have the word of God. You have the name of Jesus. You have the presence of God. You have the power of God. You have faith in you. And the Bible says, all things are Whatsoever the mountain before you this coming year is going to be bulldozed. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
double portion. Somebody say double portion. Somebody say double portion. If I were you, I begin to write this first coming first day of the year, everything I want the Lord to do for me. After you have finished writing them, maybe they are 10, maybe they are 20, and then you look at it again, and then you look at the word double portion. It. The number of what you are requesting, God is going to double them for you. In the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 17. But ye shall acknowledge the son of the hated. For the firstborn, by giving him a double portion of all that he had. For he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. You are a child of God. Look up here. If you happen to be the firstborn in your family, that is, when I say firstborn, not biologically now, but in terms of being born again, double portion coming to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Others will get their double portion too. But you, you are the first spiritual child in that family. The Lord is saying he will do something unique in your life in Jesus' name. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 12. Turn you to the stronghold. You prisoners of hope. You've been hopeless all your life. You have been prisoner of hope. The Lord is now saying, turn you to the stronghold. Whatsoever has held your band is letting you loose. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Amen. Amen. Second Kings chapter 2. You know that very well. The case of Elisha and Elijah. Please look up here. Many a times, we pray some prayer that our other people will pray. I don't like doing that. Because I see unique, spectacular miracles in the Bible came out of prayers that were born from the heart. Not just repeating this, repeating that. I saw that when Israel came out of Egypt, They never heard of Red Sea passing before. But that spectacular miracle happened. When they were in Egypt, all the plagues that went upon the Egyptians never happened before that time. And then they got into the wilderness. You know what we say? This is wilderness. And you know wilderness is a dry place. Wilderness is an hopeless place. What shall we do? Even the children of Israel, they told uh, Moses, you brought us here to kill us and our children. Hopeless situation. But right in the wilderness, miracle of heavenly food coming to human being that never happened before, it happened. Listen, no matter what you are going to right now, pay attention to somebody. You are going through a challenge in your life. There is a spectacular miracle about to happen in your life. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't look down upon yourself. Look up unto the Lord because a miracle is about to happen. They were thirsty. There was no water for them to drink. Moses, we are thirsty. Wait a minute. A miracle is just about to happen. Moses, where is your rod? And for you, of God with you. Where is your faith? Strike the rock. And as the rock was stricken, inside of fire, water came out. Water of life is coming to you. In the name of Jesus. And so, look at all the miracles in the Bible. The woman with the issue of blood, she said to herself, she never heard of it before. She never saw it before. She never, never read it anywhere before. But she said to herself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. And then she put works into action. Faith plus works. She did and the miracle came. Stop sorrowing. Amen. Garment of praise is coming in the place of money. Go back to Isaiah 61. 
Read it again and again. I don't have enough time to go line by line. There is a lot. But we are going to use it to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. You know, what's her name? Hannah was barren. And you would think hope lost. And Penina was making fun of her. The children of Penina, or her own, was over. Is that what they think about you? That life is just beginning. I say your life is just beginning. I don't and then, at the age of 80, what are you supposed to do? Preparation for death, for the grave. Hand over, hand over. And the man said, Moses, if you pay attention, he said it before. Moses started at 80. Amen. And then he at and the things happening right now in his ministry before. Are you with me? Don't write off yourself. Am I talking to somebody here? Don't submit to your situation. Be the master of your life. Pay attention here. In your family, you have a situation going on. In your career, you have a challenge going on. Don't give room for people to come and say, Hey, oh, sorry. Piri, pari. Ah, people will not pity me. Amen. Don't hey, sorry. Ah, God will do it. God has done it already. I said God has done it already. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle walking God. Help me somebody. Miracle. Let's stand up and sing that song together. continues but you are going to start praying right now you are going to begin to pray for the spirit of the lord to come upon you the spirit of the lord the spirit of the lord the spirit of the lord to come upon you the anointing of the lord to come upon you the power of the lord to come upon you in the presence of Nazareth it says he has anointed me to preach good tidings i am a carrier of good news in the name of Jesus, he has sent me to find out the broken hearted. I will fulfill destiny to proclaim liberty to the captives. Through me, this coming year, miracles, signs, and wonders will happen in my life. In the name of Jesus. for miracle, a candidate for signs and wonders, a candidate for double portion. I will not perish in the pandemic. I will not perish with the sinners. The Lord will give me beauty in the place of ashes. Amen. 
spirit of praise, for the spirit of heaviness. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Double portion of bounty harvest. The man of God has professed today and shall be permanent in our lives. Just believe, believe the word of the word of the man of God. It is yours. We are crossing over and we are taking, we are taking our position. We are taking our position. It has said, today is your victory. Victory, victory to the new year. Victory to the new year. Victory to the new year. The man of God has said it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Double portion of bounty harvest shall be yours in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because you are a faithful God. 
We thank you because your mercy endures forever. We thank you for a time like this. We didn't even hope we would have a day like this. But glory be unto your holy name. Thank you for the word we received tonight. And Lord, I pray that this word of blessings that is poured upon us today shall be permanent in our lives in Jesus' name. Fathers, we are marching into 2022. We are marching into our possessions in Jesus' name. Thank you as we continue tonight rejoicing for for us. Lord, we pray that no one is living here today with the blessing of God upon his own. We pray. Double portion of we are going to take to take after him today. Not that he did. Amen? Not. Another year is down in a path unknown, untried. I will fill me with foreboding had I no hand to guide. 